Hello, and welcome to Movie Magic Scheduling Tips and Tricks. I'm your host, Stephen Kinchelnik, and today I'm going to show you how to add storyboards or images to your breakdown sheets. Okay, so as soon as you open your breakdown sheet, you'll notice this new area off to the lower right, which is the storyboard area. And you can add as many images as you want to a breakdown sheet, so it doesn't have to be just a storyboard. It could be pictures of your actors or locations or whatever. And if you're not using images and you want to just get rid of this area, you can click and drag the area off to the right, and it'll save that window position and just be out of the way as you move through your breakdown sheets. So I'm going to click and drag it back out. And to add an image to a breakdown sheet, there are a couple ways you can do it. You can either go up to Schedule Image Manager, and it brings up our Im Image Manager window. But the easiest way to do that is to just double click in a blank area of the storyboard area. So I'm going to just double click and it brings it up. And notice also when you do it through the double click method, it automatically highlights the scene that you were just in. So it makes it easier to add an image that way. So you have three options down here. You can add an image, remove an image, or replace an image. And I'm going to go ahead and click add. And I will find an image on my hard drive and click open. Now notice really quickly before it imported there was a little gray area with three dots. That's just letting you know that it's processing the image. We actually saved the images to the file so we have to do a little compression to make sure the file size doesn't get huge. So if it's a rather large image it may take a little bit longer to process. Now down here you can add description to the image so I'm gonna add description taxi being used in the scene and I don't have to do anything I can just close the window and now I have the images on my scene in my breakdown sheet so with that highlight you'll notice the description down here you'll also notice the from and that's just an indicator of where the original image was found like I said we compress them a little bit so if you want to go back to the original for the full-size image for whatever reason it's just giving you an indicator of how to find that and to remove an image it's really simple all I have to do is you can double, double click on a blank area or the image itself and again it'll highlight the scene that you're in and the image is highlighted and I just click remove and it's gone so that's it. Pretty simple. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube page so that you can get updates on when new videos are added about the new features. And check our website, entertainmentpartners.com, for any information on new products and new services that we offer. Thanks for watching.